Hello everyone, my name is Fernando and welcome to today's video, which is the first of a series where I'll take you through everything I've learned to create realistic drawings. If you're just getting started or have been drawing for a while, I feel like with these videos you'll learn something new. I've narrowed down the top 10 essential drawing supplies to get you started. Number one, quality drawing pencils. Usually for a set of eight professional pencils, they'll be around $10. There's no way to know which brand will become your favorite until you try a few. So I highly suggest buying single pencils of various brands and trying them out, see which one you prefer. Pencil sets usually come packaged in nice tin cans and can be great because they often include the full spectrum of graphic grades. I have a few sets myself. Many sets include pencils with hard graphite 9H through softer graphite 6B. A sketchbook. The price ranges from $4 to $12 estimate. A sketchbook is one of the most important things an artist can have. I should point out that I'm referring to an active sketchbook, one that receives attention on a daily basis. Anyone can own a book with blank pages or draw paper, but the one that actively gets drawn in on a daily basis is the one of value. An active sketchbook is the artist's exercise. It's the hard work and is the breeding ground for innovative artistic ideas. Though the sketchbook may never be seen by the world, it is often the driving force in successful artworks and successful artists. Since the sketchbook is recommended for daily practice, it is important to choose one that is durable and has plenty of pages for all your ideas. I suggest a sketchbook that has a hard cover with a spiral. The size would depend on you, but I do suggest um, small, something small that you can carry backpack your pocket or your hand and also a larger one to experiment with maybe different mediums uh, watercolor pencil inks quality drawing surfaces for a good drawing book they usually run around three to fifteen dollars but if you want to go on the high-end single sheets they range from four dollars to fourteen dollars per sheet when I'm working on my final pieces I, I usually go for for a heavy watercolor paper um, and it's a smooth the one that I use is, has a smooth finish there are a few considerations for choosing a drawing surface that will affect the finished result so number one is a tooth heavier textures will produce lines that may appear broken while smoother textures will produce smoother lines and gradation of value paper that is acid free without going into all the technical details will stand the test of time this paper will not yellow over time and is more resistant to fading that can occur when exposed to UV light. Number four, variety of erasers. These can range from two to five dollars. Erasers can be a great mark making tool as well. Each eraser creates a different mark and should be used as necessary according to the specific drawing medium. One of my favorite is a kneaded eraser. This eraser lifts material from the surface instead of using friction to remove it. It can be pulled and fashion into different forms to create specific marks. A good pencil sharpener. A manual one can range from four to eight dollars, while an electric one can be twenty dollars to maybe a hundred dollars or more. Pencils need to be sharpened with a quality pencil sharpener. Pencil sharpeners generally fall into two categories, manual and electric. Six, charcoal or Conte. A charcoal set can run from three to $10 and a Conte set can range from $3 to $60 for the high end. No artist's toolkit will be complete without charcoal or Conte. Charcoal provides a broader range of value and mark making. The manner in which marks are made is different as well than pencil. Charcoal comes in both stick and pencil form. Sticks of charcoal are usually either vine or compressed. The vine is softer and produces light marks. It's also much lighter. While compressed charcoal, a bit heavier, which is concentrated, produces darker marks. 
Charcoal pencils can be sharpened like graphite pencils, making them great for detail. Content is similar to charcoal in richness of color, however, the makeup of the material is different. Charcoal is burnt organic material, while Conte is made of clay. Seven, drawing pens and ink. For a set of pens, they can range from three to $250 for the full set of 90 colors. While the ink bottles can range from $4 to $25 for a set. When we draw with ink, we're forced to master the use of line. Line is used to develop the illusion of form, texture, and light. Blending stumps. They range from $2 to $8 for a set. A blending stump allows the artist to create gradations of value without introducing the oils of the fingers, which can make a drawing look dirty or uncontrolled. Blending stumps also allow the artist to create gradations and smooth applications of value in areas of detail that may be hard to get to otherwise. Another technique that I use for blending is using a soft brush. Quality color pencils. A set of 12 can be around $15, while a top of the line set of 120 can be around $180. Prismacolor wax based Premier pencils are soft and buttery, allowing the artist to layer colors to build up a solid application that often compares to a painting. Some people complain that they break easily, and they do, but this is due partly to the soft core of the pencil, which is also why they are so easy to use and build up on a surface. My personal favorite are the Faber-Castell Polychromos. Faber-Castell's Polychromos pencils are oil-based and behave slightly different from wax-based pencils. These pencils require several layers to build up depth and color, but the results are fantastic. They are expensive, but well worth the investment if color pencils are your medium of choice. A storage box for your art supplies. I highly recommend this to stay organized with your materials, plus it's easy to transport if you want to go to the park or if you want to draw outside, this is a great way to take all your art supplies. You can either buy it at a local retail store or in an art store. I personally recommend a, a fishing supply store, I think they are less expensive. If you don't have all these materials, Pencil and paper will be enough to get you started. Did I miss any materials you feel are essential? If so, please share it by commenting below. Want to know how I use these materials in my realistic drawings? Please hit the description below where I recommend my other videos showing you step by step how to improve your drawing skills. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.